Okay, what we have here is a flyback driver. It's from Power Labs. Yeah, that's the website there. Powerlabs.org. Anyhow, it's a 2N3055. You get that from Radio Shack. The uh, flyback transformer happened to be out of a, a television or a computer monitor. I don't forget what, when it was. Yeah, you, know, you have to get the uh, orientation uh, of this here right uh, in relation to the, the primary. So if it doesn't work, you're just going to switch one of these around and that should work. You're going to put the uh, voltage divider up here. You want to also put a uh, choke on here to choke off the uh, RF that's going back in your power supply. Are you going to be getting, you know, power supply is going to be taking a hit. <clears throat> There's the flyback transformer here. I believe you've got about 10, 11 turns of, uh, for the primary, and then real thin number 26 magnet wire wrapped in between here. I think there's about five turns of that. It's about half of what we have on the drive. <clears throat> and the ground, you found the ground on here. So we got the ground wire is here, hooked to the stud, and it's shorting out down over here with the high voltage lead. And we've got the uh, transistors here. They run pretty cool. We're only running about four volts, three, four volts. So we're going to fire it up here and see what the scope looks like. And that's what the scope looks like. And we're only running. Well, that's about three volts there. Half an amp. And that's what the base is running at here. Right below zero. Frequency is an automatic frequency. Uh, it finds resonance by itself. 7879. That's close to what we had when we run a function generator on here. We were running about 60, I believe it was. And here's a spark here. This is for the uh, 